guys okay so today I'm going to be doing a beauty and fashion haul now as you guys know I shop way too constantly um, but so I had a couple new things from tar literally everywhere Target Forever 21 Victoria's Secret Sephora um, the drugstore everywhere so I'm just gonna start with my makeup because it's right here in my little basket and um, most of this stuff you guys have already seen in videos, but I just wanted to introduce it fully in a haul. So the, I'm not going to talk about this a lot at all, but this is the Anastasia Glow Kit. And if you want to know more about this, just check out any of my um, recent videos, um, like makeup videos. I will leave the ones that I talk about it down below, but because I don't want to bore you guys who watch my videos constantly. But, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so incredible. I got this from Sephora for $40. And then next, from Sephora, I got this Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder Oil Free. And this is in 18 Stay Cream. Okay, and this is so random. But, like, has Clinique not changed their packaging since, like, 20 years? Like, I'm sorry, but this, like, kind of... I don't like the packaging. Like, I feel like they could, like, change up their packaging. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's so old. But so, this is what it looks like. And I just use this. I mean, you're not going to be able to see anything. But I just use this every day as my pressed powder. And it's got pretty good coverage. And, and I mean, I, it keeps me decently matte. And it's a pretty good deal. Then next is the Clinique Line Smoothing Concealer. I'm also not going to talk about this a whole bunch because I did talk about it a lot in recent videos. But um, I just really, really like this. It is in color O2 Light and it is definitely out of the Clinique um, concealers. It is the best deal by far. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it was. I want to say it was around 17 and it's 0.28 ounces. So now for the drugstore stuff. So I wanted to try out some new concealers. Remember, so this, these are from Walmart. And I normally don't go to Walmart very often just because I have a Target closer. But I remember seeing and hearing a lot about this like a lot of years ago. And I don't remember ever trying it, but I figured I'm looking for like a really good like heavy duty concealer that's not super cakey. So I might as well try this out. And this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. And it comes with the concealer and a concealer pencil. And you can also use this on tattoos, which I think is really cool. Um, one of my friends has a tattoo, so I'm going to try it out on her and see if it actually works. But this is what it looks like. I got it in the color Light 312. So that is that. And it's not very expensive at all. And then I also got the Maybelline Master Conceal um, Camouflaging Concealer. Just because... This was another um, concealer that looked like it was pretty full coverage, and I have not tried it yet. It's in color 20 Light, and this is just what it looks like. Um, if you guys have tried either of these out, definitely let me know down below what you think of this. I think this one was a little bit more expensive. This one was like $7, I believe. Or if you guys have another concealer that you think I should try, let me know also. So then I also got the NYC Get It all foundation stick and this is what it looks like but I got it in warm beige so it's obviously like a color that's not this is awkward but it's obviously a color that is not my skin tone I am not this tan but I wanted to try it out for like a cream contour and see what I liked I might be doing like a video on it like a fun little like demo video so I might be doing that. Um, let me know if you guys want to see that or not, or you're just like, who cares? Like, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, just let us know, whatever. But so yeah, so I got this to try out that. And then I got these two new lip products, which I'm actually wearing one of them. And they are the CoverGirl Outlast Long Wear and Moisture. And I was watching um, beauty broadcast Emily Noel, her videos, and she was talking about these and how they are like something that have been out for a really long time and that she has like always like kind of passed up and she tried them and she really, really likes them. And I have to say, I do really like them also. 
So I got the color 900 and 945. Um, 900 is phantom pink and 945 is magentic mauve. I believe I'm wearing magentic mauve right now. Um, so I will just swatch these for you guys. And they're kind of like, sorry, that's my foundation on my hand. Um, they are like how it says a balm. They feel like a moisturizing balm kind of. Um, and they've almost got a little bit of shimmer-ish to them, but I really, really like these. They have way more color payout than you would expect from like a balm, and so they're not drying on anything like that. They are, and they, they've got a little bit of a scent to them. I think I just got out my nose. They've got a little bit of like a strawberry-ish scent to them, but you can't really smell it when it's on your lips. Um, and yeah, like even like wiping it off, like I kind of feel like a moisturizing residue left over. So I really recommend them. I think they're great. And the only thing is, is there's not like a huge color, um, like choice variety, but yeah. And then the last makeup thing I got is another Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel. Um, if you guys watched my video on this, I will leave it linked down below, but these are amazing. And I got the color Pinky Swear. I'm actually wearing it right now. My nails are not... Focus! Stop it. My nails are not the best of quality paint job right now, but I, re I really, really like this color, and I thought it was going to be more of a, like, hotter pink. Not like a hotter pink, but just like a brighter pink, but I actually really, really love the color that, like, it comes out to be. So, now on to fashion. Victoria's Secret because I wanted to get a bralette that I'd seen online and my sister ended up getting a bra and if you get the matching underwear you get a free perfume and she doesn't really wear perfume so she gave it to me which because it was like such a good deal like you buy a bra and any you don't have to buy matching underwear you can just buy any underwear so a bra and underwear and you get a free perfume and this perfume is normally $52 so that's a good deal. And I got the Noir Teas perfume. Um, it's black vanilla frozen pear and blooming gardenia. So really excited about that. And then what I bought, um, I actually got from the pink store and I am so obsessed. So it is this bralette and I have been on the hunt for a good bralette a lot recently and I could just never find one and then I saw this one in like a picture on Twitter or something and then I looked it up and they actually had it because you know when like people post stuff like on Twitter pictures um like it's never like actually in stores but this was and it's actually like recently in stores and they've got a bunch of different colors but I thought I would just try this color out and see if I like it and I do but so it is a halter which I was really wanting, and um, it's got pads in it, which was another thing that I really, really wanted, and some people don't, which is totally fine, it's totally your preference, but I wanted to be able to wear this under stuff and not feel like my boobs were like, mm, I don't know. But so, I was looking for one with pads in it for a really long time, and I could never find one, or I would find one and it would be like spaghetti strapped, but the straps weren't even, like the straps were like a normal strap, they weren't even like lace, and like what's the point of that? Like you're wearing a bralette to like show off like the actual like lace, I don't want it just to look like I'm wearing like a tank top underneath, you know? Um, so I got this and I'm really, really excited about it. And the back just looks like this and it has actually a bra closure, um, like so. And I believe it was like $34. You always get like coupons in the mail and I imagine that this is considered like a bra. And so you could use one of the $10 off bra coupons. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure you could. So then I bought a lot of leggings recently. So I bought three new pairs of leggings. These first ones I bought off Poshmark, no, eBay. And they are Lululemon leggings. And I definitely recommend, like if you want more Lululemon leggings but don't wanna pay the outrageous like $90 per leggings, definitely go on like Poshmark or um, eBay or something and just like check it out because you can find some really good stuff on here I believe I got these for like $45 and they are 
leggings and they have this I really like this print I think it's a really cool print um it's not like it is what I was expecting but like once I like got it and was like looking at it in person I it's a little bit of a different pattern than I thought but I really like it um, I normally just stick with like all black leggings so this was something good for me to mix it up a little bit then I got two other pairs of leggings from Target. These ones are just these black, all black, like just typical. But um, what I really like about these is the super high waistband. And that's really weird, but um, I have a pair of these in maroon because at the time I was like, I do not need another pair of black leggings. Like that is the last thing I need. And so I got maroon and I really, really like them. Um, I like the way they fit. They are long leggings, but um, what I do sometimes is I just roll them like you roll jeans um, if you want like more of a cropped look. And I like this band at the top because it like sucks everything in. <laughs> um, and I know that my mom really likes them too. I bought her a pair as well. And you can also, like, if it feels like it's too tight or something, you can just, like, roll it down and it just sits a little bit lower on your hips. But so I really, really like these. I would recommend them. And they were on sale when I bought them. And I got these leggings, which I like, but I didn't realize how expensive they were. So they were $40. Those other ones were, like, $25. And I just thought they were really cool looking. But, like, now realizing how much they were, I don't know. But so they are normal at the top. And then they have like this faux leather type detailing. And then on the back, they have like kind of a, can you see, like in the back of the knee, it's kind of like a mesh detailing. Um, I don't know. I, I really like them, but what do you guys think? Are they worth $40? I mean, like I know like that's like really not that expensive for leggings, but like wasn't what I, it just wasn't what I was expecting the price to be and um, I like I know there's something a little bit different which is kind of why I got them like it's just not the same pair of plain black leggings yeah let me know what you guys think about those so then next I got this little long chomp backpack for my I don't think I've talked about this yet but I am going on a super super fun graduation um, trip with my mom and we are going um outside of the country i will make a whole video on that if you guys want like where we're going what i'm packing once it gets closer we are going in july but knowing me you know i like to start planning stuff so i got this little backpack because i know that i'm going to be wanting to take stuff with me when we're like out and about and i figured that i could bring this also um or like a crossbody purse or something like that if I wanted to but I thought this was kind of something cute and different and I wouldn't have to worry about like my purse slipping off my arms and like stuff like that and it holds like a decent amount of stuff in it um, granted I haven't used it yet but I did get this off eBay also for I don't exactly remember how much um, I will try to remember and leave it linked down below but like I'm just trying to show you guys like you don't have to pay retail price for stuff like before you go out and buy something expensive look to see if it's like online like gently used or new or whatever like you know you don't have to pay boats of money okay so then also I just thought I would show you this really quickly from Poshmark I got this romper so it's really hard to show but it is actually from Shein side which I did a haul on a really long time ago and it just looks like this and I have to <laughs> so here is like the tie it is so long it goes like that past my knees so I have to trim that but that is that and then from Target I got this top and it is by Exhilaration and it's just this really pretty like coral bright orange color and then it's got some nice lace detail at the bottom and I got this because I love wearing like shirts with leggings but I don't like my butt hanging out some most of the time I don't know just like a cropped shirt with leggings to me it makes me really uncomfortable and so I wanted to get something that was short sleeve because I have a lot of shirts that are long sleeved and long but I wanted to get a short sleeve one so that when it's a little bit warmer out, I can still wear leggings. And then I got this tank top, which was from my trunk club. And I actually wore this 
no, you'll see that video after this, but I wore, I'm wearing it in the kind of recent video. And this is just what it looks like. It is from Free People and you can get it at Nordstrom. And then I also got this top, which I think is super, super cute. And it is from, oh my gosh, what's this one called? Altered State. And it is just a like off, not off the shoulder, cold shoulder, something like that, hot pink top. And it's really, really pretty on. This is going to be weird, but I'm just going to like show you guys. <laughs> it's got like that. And then it's got some really, this is weird. That's weird. It's got some really pretty crochet details on it. The only thing is, is I didn't really pay attention that you're not supposed to wash it. You're supposed to hand wash it. And it shrunk. So that's great. But I, I don't know, Altered State, I'm kind of iffy on. Like, I like their stuff, but like that shirt was even on sale and it was $45. Like, that's a lot. And then my last two things are from Forever 21. I got this really, really awesome, um, like red hot coral type dress. And it's just like this. And it's like kind of like a shift dress, but if you guys know me, I don't like shift dresses, so it's like not. But um, that's just what it looks like. And it's just such a fun, easy fabric. I wore it with a jean jacket and white Converse, and it was super cute. And then my last thing is this tank top. And um, I actually have not worn this yet, which makes me a little skeptical because I bought it a while ago. But it's just this like oatmeal kind of color. And the front has a V in it, and then it has a lower V in the back. And it's just got some cuts on the side. And this was $12.90. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be good for like summer with some like jeans and a bandeau or a bralette or whatever the heck those things are called. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is my beauty and fashion things that I have bought recently. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep seeing more videos from me. And I post videos every two two days, I would say, or one day, if I'm feeling crazy. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.